This is the Acer Aspire 1 with the AMD processor. AMD Athlon 2 Neo processor K125, 1.7 gigahertz. And I have a broken screen. I'm going to be replacing the screen. First thing I'm going to do is take the batteries out. Slide these two tabs apart. Slide the battery pack out. Place that aside. Unlike the cheaper model of the Acer Aspire 1, there are two. We'll pretend this didn't come off. There are two plastic sticky covers covering the screws, the two screws on the bottom of this cover. So I'm going to be removing those. I used a safety blade, razor blade to remove those and place those on a side. Then I will remove those two screws and take the panel out. The best screwdrivers to use are the jeweler screwdrivers. Using a flat point screwdriver to break the snaps free. You have to do this gently, you don't want to break these panels. Work your way around. Be careful not to scratch the camera lens. The camera is right in the center at the top. Opening the panel all the way makes it easier to take the bezel off. This is the replacement screen. And you can see the connector on the back. The LCD panel has four screws fastening it to the back our lid using the Phillips screwdriver again
There's some plastic index pins which hold the panel in a certain position so you need to lift it out of those pins after you remove the screws. Remove the connector at the top of the panel. I often use tape to stick the cables onto the back of the panels. I'm just going to loosen that so I can more easily release the connector. Also this connector wire is not part of the panel. It passes behind the panel and it has some adhesive that must be removed from the back of the panel. There's yellow tape on this panel that holds the connector in. Securely. Along with another identification label that has adhesive. Well, that label just peeled off the tape behind it. And my fingernails are having a hard time grabbing it. I'm not worried about saving this panel. This panel is junk anyway, so get more aggressive. Just as long as I don't damage the connector on the end of the cable. Now I've got the tape removed and I was able to unplug the connector. Assembly is the reverse of this assembly, so plug the new panel in. Connector seated firmly. While I have some play on the cable, I'll plug in the top connector. So small, I think I'll try using these wire strippers. Making sure it's seated with my thumbnail.
lining up the black plastic index pins. Replacing the LCD panel screws. They should be firm but not over tightened since you are screwing into a it is a metal thread but it doesn't need to be super tight I need to remove my plastic cover Attach the bezel, snapping it in. I've replaced the screws at the bottom and the adhesive covers. Last step is reinsert the battery. Power it on.